You know how in editing you sometimes develop those halos around like mountains or other things when they have the sun behind them? Well today I'm going to show you a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to get rid of them. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. Today I'm going to go over a quick way in Photoshop how to get rid of those obnoxious halos that you sometimes get in editing. Now first, what is a halo? A halo is that soft glow that you get on the border of things, either from brightening shadows and do and the background is really bright or doing like a shitty mask or something. You know, it does happen. So we've all been there and it's one of those things where you're editing along great, you're doing good, the photo's looking great, you get to the end and you see the halo and it just ruins the whole image. You're just like and you know, it's just very frustrating. But with this handling, it'll be a quick handle and your photos will be looking that much better. So let's jump into Lightroom and get started. So here we are in Lightroom and here's this photo that I've done a basic edit on. And you can definitely see the halo. It's this light glow around this rock here and this light glow around this rock here. Here's the before image and you can see that it's very dark on the foreground. So when I brighten the shadows and lower the highlights, it gave me that halo, which is totally normal. It does happen, but there is an easy way to fix it. So we're going to right click on the image. We're going to go to edit in Photoshop. Once we're in Photoshop, let's go ahead and make a copy of the background by selecting the background, pressing command or control J. I'm using a Mac, so most of my hotkeys are going to be the Mac versions. Then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in by pressing command and the plus sign. Not that far. You can press the space bar and drag that way you can move um, move around the image and what we're going to do is we're going to do the quick select tool. So press W on the keyboard or this tool up here and then we're going to make the brush a little bigger and we're going to select this rock. Okay, good. Let's zoom out a little. Okay, good. There we go. So now we have the rock selected. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, select inverse. So we have everything but the rock selected. Then we're going to use the stamp tool by clicking this one here or pressing S on the keyboard. Make the brush a little bigger. We're going to go up to the opacity. Make sure the opacity is set at 50%. Good. So let's just 50%. And then we're going to make a selection. So press option and click to sample on the image. Uh, right here, usually find like a line or something so you can match it up really good. So we're going to click right here, take a sample. So option and then click. And then we're going to see, we're going to match it up. You see how you can see that my sample is there. So we're going to match it up right there and select. And then we're just going to drag and we're just going to paint all the way over to there. We're going to go all the way down and okay, good. And then we're going to take another sample up here and we're going to match that up. Take another sample here and then we're going to match take a sample here. We're just going to paint all along the edge here. And the reason we did the quick selection is so that it doesn't go over into the rock. So there's a line here. So we're going to take another sample just to make sure it's even. Perfect. And good. That looks good. And then take another sample in the water. And it's just a matter of doing multiple samples, just pressing option and then clicking on the samples just to get everything lined up. But once that's all done, press command D to deselect and look at that. The halo is gone. So this is the after before after before. So you can see on this right side right here, you can see the halo is there and then the halo is gone. And that was super quick and easy. Okay. So let's do the other rock really fast. Let's zoom in here. Let's scroll over to this rock. Let's get the quick selection tool. Let's get a moderate size brush. There we go. If you get too much of a selection, you can press option and then you can subtract part of the selection. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to show you the op the, that you can do that. So like if I were to get up here and I just press option and then use the quick selection tool and it will de delete that section. Okay, let's get this. Sometimes this thing can be very, very tricky. Okay. I'm just going to go back here. There we go. Okay. Now get the stamp tool S on the keyboard, and then we're going to take another section, another sample here, because that's where a good line is match it up. And then we're going to paint it on. Oh, whoops. All right. First <laughs> we got to select inverse. So we don't have the rock then select stamp. Let's get a smaller brush here, make a sample, 
match it up right here and then paint here, paint along the edge, make sure that we don't get any of the rock on there. Beautiful. Come down here, take another sample, match it up. Now you be careful of this wave here. We don't want to get that wave in there. So I don't know if there's too much of a halo there, but we'll go ahead and do it here. Beautiful. Deselect by pressing command D. And I think that does it. So after, before, after, before. So much better. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go back uh, all the way back. So this is the, this is the before and this is the after. And that's all there is to it. It's a super easy technique and it makes such a big difference to your image. It may be subtle, but it's powerful. Because if you look at two images, you see one with a halo and one without, there's a big difference. You definitely notice the halo. So using this technique makes your images much sharper. Now, if you like this video, give it a like. Also, I wanted to mention that I send out tips and tricks emails very, very, very sparingly, to be honest. But if you want to sign up for those, hit the link in the description. I'll note it at the top and you can sign up for those emails. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I do videos like this every single Monday. And as always, don't forget to enjoy the journey that is exploring photography. I'll catch you guys next time.